G'day everyone, uh, this is the Do It Self Guitar Pedals Hydra Fuzz. It's based on the Tone Bender Mark III, which is the three knob tone bender. It has the um, tone control, um, and um, this is my version of it. You can buy the PCB from my web store. I'll show you the PCB on the inside. Um, this is actually version one, so there's a few mistakes on it. Um, uh, minor mistakes. The, the the pedal still functions as it should. Um, just had a couple of things going on with the um, knobs, which I'll, uh, the dials, which I'll show you on the inside. Um, so it's also very high up on the pedal, and um, there's a reason why these knobs are so high up. But I'll show you um, when we look on the inside. Uh, I've gone for this blue because I really like it. I've used that a few times in the last few um, builds. Uh, it's a translu translucent blue with a holographic flake, and um, there's just so little holographic flake in it. It just catches your eye every every now and then. It's kind of like uh, at dusk when you can just see a few stars popping out here and there. It's um it's really nice. I I, re I really like um that finish. And I haven't put um, any undercoat or anything. It's just the bare enclosure with the um with the translucent over the top, which gives it a kind of it kind of reminds me of like a stone because um, you can see there's all sorts of um texture uh, underneath the underneath the um the powder coat. Um, which looks quite good, I reckon. So yeah, and it's quick too. That's the other reason why I do it. Because when you're a father and um, you're doing a long day job, and you're running a guitar pedal shop, and you're doing YouTube videos, and you're active on forums, and 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 and, and uh, I I like a a fast option. I had all sorts of uh, crazy graphics I was going to put on the front with them. Um, you know, a, a Hydra, um, but um, uh, it just, I just, <laughs> I'm lucky if I can even build a pedal these days and record the video, let alone um, do something that looks um, uh, aesthetically Im impressive as well. Uh, there's no reason for the word Hydra, um, I just like a bit of um, Greek mythology and um, I just thought that Hydra Fuzz sounded pretty cool. Um, that's why I went with it. Um, so let's take a look on the inside anyway now um, and see what's going on there. So I'll just go over a few things on the inside. Um, the charge pump's there for the positive, because um, it's positive ground, I always use a charge pump because having a separate um, power supply is just a pain in the ass, and then you have to worry about, don't have to worry about accidentally putting the wrong power supply um, into the, um, the wrong effect. Um, and it's just a convenience thing. I've also socketed that diode, um, which is actually a temperature stabilizing diode for Q3, so there's actually no need for me to socket that. I forgot it, it was actually for temperature stabilizing. Uh, I just tend to automatically um, socket diodes for experimentation, but in this case, I don't think it's going to make much difference. Um, and I've also socketed the the transistors because I want to check how the effect, how the circuit um, responds to different um, gains, and it's pretty it's pretty friendly. Um, I just picked three random um, germanium transistors, chucked them in, and it sounded pretty good. These aren't these are an actual set. Um, and I'd probably recommend using a set, but um, but it's 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 a pretty friendly tone bender to work with, um, and that includes the biasing, which is I'm about to talk uh, talk about next. I've put a trim pot there for the 18k resistor that goes into the collector of Q3, but you don't even need you 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 really probably don't even need it because you've got the two 10k um, resistors that form a voltage divider into. The collector, and if you just put the 18k resistor in there, you get uh, between about three and a half and four and a half volts into the collector of um, Q3, which is exactly where you want it. Um, the trim pot, though, you can use to to starve the effect and um, and make some wacky sounds um, in that respect. Um, but you can't go over four and a half because you've got those two. We well, can't with those two um, bias um, 10k resistors there. Um, so you can starve it with the trim pot. Um, you don't have to worry about putting a series resistor in for that for that reason as well because you've got those two 10k resistors. You have to worry about frying your um, Q3, um, and um, yeah, so it's optional if you want to put that that trip that trim pot or not. If you want to experiment with it, um, go right ahead. Uh, I I did it anyway. I'm glad I did because it was a bit of fun, you know, starving. It gets some pretty wacky sounds out of it. So one of the stuff ups with this um, first prototype version of the board was I actually put the uh, those two pots were around the wrong way. They should be flipped. 
180 degrees, so they're actually pointing downwards. Um, and that's why the top of the pedal is all bunched up the top. Because I wanted to demonstrate that even though I haven't put a battery um, into this pedal, um, you can easily, I'll just position that right, you can easily fit one in. You wouldn't put one in the middle here, you'd put it down the bottom, but um, I just wanted to squash it all so you could see there's plenty of room for a battery if you want to put a battery in it as well. So on the official version, the one that I'll be selling on my web store, you won't have to worry about um, those pots, they will be around the right way. Um, you'll just solder them straight in. They'll be a bit closer. Um, they'll be down a little bit, so it'll be sort of like three in a row in a V, sort of uh, a bit closer, uh, if you can imagine those down a bit, uh, that one and that one down a little bit. Um, they'll be closer because the board's quite small um, in that respect. Um, so you're probably going to want to use small knobs for this one too, I'd say, because they'll be, they'll be closer, um, so you've got enough room for that. You don't need low profile um, caps, as you can see. I've got the AC125 standing up straight um, in this one. Um, you don't have to bend them over, and I've actually got them in sockets too, so you'd have even more room if you didn't use the sockets. You just solder them straight in. Oh, and one other thing too, um, one last thing, that little um, link wire that you can see over here, there's a, um, there's a resistor spot for it, and you can put the resistor in there if you want to be official to the um, Solar Sound 3 knob um, fuzz. I think it had a 100k resistor. I'll just have a quick look. No, 220k resistor was in that one, but that really, all that really does is just limit the limit the volume out of the pedal. So I didn't see really much point in keeping it there. So I um I just I just put a um a link across it. Um, but it's up to you if you want to put it in there or not. Your choice. Um, I don't I'm not sure if it makes makes much difference. Um, uh, if you've got it in there there or not, it'll just make the the volume output of the pedal a bit lower. So I'm going to do the sound demo next. Um, I'm going to play as best as I can with a cut finger. I cut my finger with some scissors um, today and it bloody hurts like buggery. Uh, it's kind of like playing a... It's like the fretboard's made of razor blades, but um, I'll do the best I can. I was actually thinking too, if you're not a very good guitarist and um, maybe you're just learning or you're new and you're playing in front of people and you're worried about your um, playing abilities, uh, just put a wrap a band-aid on your finger and just say that you're usually an awesome guitarist and today you're not going to be playing very well because you've got this band-aid on and then leave it on for the rest of your life and you can use it for an excuse uh, at least that's what i'm going to do so anyway thanks for watching and um uh keep a eye out for the next video which will be the sound demo and of course the pcbs will be on my web store uh they should be on the web store by the time i upload this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe